Hi everyone, it's Miss Liz again from the Heights Town Branch. I hope you're doing well. We miss you. Today I'm here to show you another processed art project. Um, if you remember from my processed art painting with tin foil, processed art is about the process or how you make the art, not really the end. So it's not sitting down and saying, hey, I'm going to make a picture of a dog. It's how am I going to create with the materials that I have with me? It's about being a little different that way and seeing what the picture ends up like. So today we're going to paint using Q-tips or cotton swabs, cotton buds. <laughs> they have all kinds of names. So today we're going to use paint. Of course, we'll need some paper. We'll need a paper plate or plastic plate to service your paint palette, somewhere to work, something to cover up your workspace. Um, a bunch of Q-tips. Uh, I think I might do a technique where I'm going to use a couple of Q-tips just by themselves. And then I'm going to use Q-tips together, rubber banded. So we'll need a bunch of Q-tips and a rubber band. And then let's get to it. All right, so we're back with a familiar setup for those of you who may have watched the painting with tin foil processed art video. So I've got my paper, my paint, my paints on my trusty owl plate, a couple of Q-tips by themselves, my Q-tips are banded together, extra Q-tips, because you never know. All right, and let's get started. So of course you can start by just dipping it in and painting. This would be cool if you were kind of creating maybe a galaxy painting in the background and then doing some stars. But again, that requires having more of a vision, which is easier for older kids and adults to have. Younger kids might just be quite happy to cover the paper. So you can always just get the tip of the paint or the Q-tip uh, filled with paint. You can go ahead and try the side of the Q-tip. See what that'll give you. You can either stamp it or kind of swipe it across or rub it in you know this is again your it's all about the process so try out the process try out the different processes as guess and check you know there's nothing that's just straightforward this is how you do it that's a great thing about art so you can create all kinds of different things and you might and when you sit down to start doing it you might not know what you're going to create until you're done and then you say hey you know what this looks like a eh? whatever it happens to look like so, you don't know until you get there. I feel like this kind of technique where I could kind of blend some of these in, this could be kind of cool to use some similar colors. Blend something together. And then of course, I've been waiting to use this technique. I'm gonna dab the whole bunch together. A couple different colors and see what I get. These I like because they look like a bunch of little buds, little flowers to me. I mean, depending on what colors you use, who knows what they could look like. So with endless kinds of colors and you could use a lot of these grouped together, just a few. If you do maybe three or four, they could be something more like a shamrock clover. Um, you know, you could dip it and pinch it and draw something more specific, which is good for our fine motor skills for the little ones. You know, or write a name. I feel like there's endless possibilities with Q-tips. As long as you have enough paint and paper and patience, you can just keep going. And for the older kids, it might feel kind of silly to, to paint with something, you know, that's not your traditional um, paintbrush. But again, there's many famous artists that that's what they do. And that's why they become famous because they thought outside of the box. That's not what everybody tended to do. And they were able to make these wonderful works of art in very different ways. So I think I'm going to get a new piece of paper, start something fresh and see what else I can come up with. 
All right, I hope you guys can use your imaginations and your paint and can't wait to see what you come up with. We hope to see you soon. Stay well. Bye-bye.